On Everlane.com, when you scroll to the bottom, you'll find a section at the very bottom that we'll call a two-column full-width section. And it has a picture on the right and a pull quote on the left. We're going to recreate this in Builder. The first thing that you'll want to do is create a new page. And within that page, when you create it, I'm going to actually select this bounded template just to have some more content on the page. And they actually have a section listed in here. So we can kind of copy that and take a look at it and also create a new one from scratch. Now that we have the page open, I'm going to scroll down to the section that they have currently. The first thing that we'll want to do is drag the columns into our section. You'll notice it's predefined with two pictures and some text. Go over to the style tab and on background, the fill color will be this. So now we have a full width section and we know this because it says 100 VW, that's view width. So it's gonna be 100% of the view width that's available. We'll remove the original block because we won't need that anymore. We'll also need to take a look at the columns here. So the columns are actually um, set down in, and in this, we actually need them to be the full height of that section. So we'll take a look here. It looks like there's a 20 picks on this. We'll want to remove that. And then there's also padding that we were talking about before, and we will want to remove all of the padding that is in this. So padding is pushing in, margin is pushing away. So there's that. I'm actually going to click this photo and add some photo, some data to that. So go ahead on the photo tab. You can click options and choose photo. Um, I'm just going to pick, oh, it looks like I have the photo. So I will pick this photo. Um, and then you'll want to make sure if you're covering or centering, depending on the background position. Um, so if we do contain, that will guarantee us the full image fits within it. Now that we have our columns set into place, we're going to take a look at these. And we actually want the column container to also go 100% of the view width. So we'll add 100 view width. And as you can see, it kind of pushes things to the left because we have this margin auto on there. Now, if we change out margin auto to be a calculation, and I'll just drop this down real quick. So this is saying calculate 50% of minus 50 of the view width. So it's going to basically put this uh, as the full view width and the margin left off of 50%. So basically centering it. Um, if we want a little bit of padding, which it seems we will, we're going to add probably something like, I don't know, 40 pixels on each side just to make sure it's off the edge a little bit. So that'll push in just a tad. Um, we actually aren't going to use image. Um, so we're going to take that away and then we'll have some text off to the left and this will probably be a pretty large text um, for our quote. And of course, as I'm doing this, if your company uses REMS or anything like that, you could do um, six REM. So that would uh, be equivalent as well. So we can quote the user and then if you want to continue stacking down and you can place this just below. Um, and so that way we can call out whoever's user this might be. So again, I'm going to left align that text and then I'm going to edit it. So now, as you can see, we have the, the nice um, image call out in its own section. And then we also have the full quote call out on the left. And this is how you make a two column full width section with a picture and a pull quote.